Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Secure Mail Merge, the Mail Merge toolkit for Outlook and Microsoft 365 that works on Windows, Mac, and web versions of Outlook, and includes some of the advanced features that you might want to use in a mail merge, like individual attachments, or you can add CC and BCC email addresses. You can even do mail merge campaigns from your address book using the contact information. In this demonstration, we're going to use a spreadsheet. Uh, I've prepared one here with standard information. You've got your greeting, your first name, your last name, something that we're going to use at the top of the email. You have the two column, which is who are we going to send our emails to. You've got a CC column. This is just to show that we can send CC email addresses. You can also just do a BCC column, for example. We've added some extra information that we're going to use in the body of the email to personalize it a little bit. And then you have a column called attachments. We're going to attach a general report, that the same report for all of the recipients, and we're going to attach individual attachments, in this case an invoice, to each of the recipient's email. So they'll all get different sets of attachments. Now, let's switch over to Outlook. Now, I'm going to demo this in Outlook on the web. It's available in Windows and Mac and works pretty much the same. The first step is always to install a plugin if you haven't already. Um, it's usually a button called Get Add-ins, like here. And then all you do is search for Secure Mail Merge, click on the button, click on Add. And this will then get added to your account. And to start Secure Mail Merge, you click on New Email. And we're going to pop out this email into a new window. Um, I'll tell you why in just a moment. And then the plugin will appear up here on the tab. Now, Secure Mail Merge does all of the mail merge processing right on your computer. So it's all done within this sidebar. So if you're in a browser, it's important to have opened this in a new window in case you want to continue working or reading email in the main browser window while your mail merge campaign is sending. If it's just a short mail merge campaign, you can just sit there and watch it sending, but it's just easier to do this in a separate window uh, and it's a more, bit more comfortable for you. The plugin starts asking you, okay, do you want to use a spreadsheet first or do you want to use your address book? We've created the spreadsheet, so we're going to load our demo spreadsheets. And now the first thing that's going to happen is it's going to ask you to add those individual files. Remember, we're going to send a general report and personalized files for each recipient. So we're going to go to our folder with the individual attachment attachments and select them all. And then they get loaded into the plugin. Now the next thing is, let's write an email. So we're going to just you know, write a simple demo email. I'm going to call this invoice for flat. And then I'd like to add the flat number. So I go to the drop down here and it'll show me all the columns that are in my spreadsheet. I didn't show you all in the preview, but we have the flat number here. And I'm going to say add this to the subject. Now you can see the format is two curly braces, the column name. Um, so if you want to, instead of using the drop down, if you're faster or more comfortable, you can also just write curly braces. I'll do the greeting here. Or just continue to use the drop down for any fields that you'd like to add. And then you go ahead and just finish your email. I'm just going to write, please find the invoice and our general report attached. Kind regards. Now, the individual attachments, so the invoices in this scenario, are going to be attached by Secure Mail Merge. But the general report, I'm just going to add as if I would add any normal attachment to the email. I'm going to select this report. You can see it appears here. And then when you're ready, you can use any kind of formatting in the body. I've used a signature here. You can add images. You can add links anything you're used to in Outlook, but you'll then want to send yourself a test email to check if the tokens are being replaced properly. So you click send test email to yourself. It will ask you if it's the first time that you're using the software to accept the permissions that it needs to send emails on your behalf. You might be asked to log in as well. Then you just provide your Microsoft 365 information. And then once it's sent, you can see 
that your test email arrives. Now, a couple of things to note here. You see the general report. That was the one that I attached to the emails. You can see the individual emails. Again, this is the first row of your Excel that it's using to generate this email. You can see the replacement of the greeting and the last name. And you can also see that the CC column was replaced correctly. Now, note here that all the email addresses are always your own because you're sending a test email. We're going to have a look at the generated emails in a moment. That's where it gets replaced with the correct email. Then I'll hop back to my window and then I can go ahead and start sending campaigns. And you can see down here, it'll start sending the email one by one, attaching the PDFs depending on, on the row. And in just a moment, you're going to see it has finished the mail merge campaign, completed and successfully sent four emails. Now, if you'd like to have a look at what it's done, just head over to your sent items. And here you can see the four emails that it's generated. If we open the first email that it generated, you can correctly see that Alex Atkinson was the two recipient, the CC was Sarah Atkinson, and you can the rest of the email is like in the preview. And that's the very easy way of creating a secure mail merge in Outlook for the web, which works on Windows and Macs just the same.